Love Story. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Love Talk Show. So here we have Sam and Rosemary. Is that correct? That's correct. So which branch you 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 cut you come from? Um, we're both from Stratford. Stratford. Thanks for coming, joining us tonight. How did you meet? Let us know here. How did you meet? Well, how did we meet? Um, we were it's been universe. a long time, huh? It's been a long time, my goodness. But we met at university very briefly. Um, okay. This was back home. And then over here, I remember, um, it was actually, I actually went to a wedding uh, at the time with a mm. girl. Okay. However, she caught my eye. <laughs> So you went to the wedding. You were invited. I was invited to a wedding, but I went with somebody else. Okay. And I left with somebody else. Let's put it that way. But I left with Rosemary. Ah. Yeah. And you, you went to this wedding as well. That's yeah. how you met. That's how. Well, yes, that's how we met. So, like so here. this was not in the church. No. no. So, definitely so friends. Not, definitely not in the church. No. So friends, uh, they met before coming to the church. Yeah. yeah. And they had a lot of trouble, as you're going to know, their testimony, a lot of problems. Yeah. Almost a divorce, correct? That's correct. Right. You yeah. almost lost everything in this relationship. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the story, Sam and Rose. Mm -hmm. I understand, we already know, you came to church, you were already married, yep. okay? But let me, let me ask you about your background. Mm -hmm. Growing up, what kind of reference did you have at home? What kind mm -hmm. of examples did you see? in your parents? Uh, how did you see marriage? Can you tell us a little bit, Sam? Okay. You first. So interestingly, um, both my parents have been married up until when they, they're both passed now. However, the reference wasn't a great one because um, I was born here, then we went back home. And when we went back home, my dad was working there at the time. Unfortunately, the job he was in, probably through frustration. So one of my earliest memories was as soon as that car would come round to the curb, we would be running, myself and my brother and my sister, just to hide, because he would literally come home and just belt us, beat us, whatever it is. So wow. not a very happy reference. And then further down the line, unfortunately, he was unfaithful to my mother. How so, would he treat your, your mom? Well, I know he betrayed her, it, it right? Was, it was almost... I'd say, if you use a phrase, sort of schizophrenic, there were times when he would be nice and really loving and happy, and then the times when he would take out his frustrations on her, and we would sometimes intervene to try and, we were very little then, but we'd try and, you know, fight him and beat him up just to mm -hmm. get him away from mum. So, wow. not a very good reference, no. Okay. Even though they managed to stay together, they were together again. I think, but that they society, had a lot of. Mum was quite traditional, so it was okay. stand by your man, even though there were a lot of things yeah. he was actually doing, unfortunately, um, as a parent. So not a good reference. And okay. um, growing up, I and, didn't want to be like him. And you were kind of a womanizer because you you told us here that you went to this wedding with someone with a girl. And left with another one. How well, how is that story? Well, as you said, Pastor, about the reference. So I grew up not wanting to be like my dad. And unfortunately, when I got to university, the opposite happened. And the very values which I wanted to go against, I literally did. And drank a lot, dated a lot of girls. And unfortunately, when I look back at the time, you know, I thought, it was very, very empty. I felt very, very empty. And and you were in a wedding feast. <laughs> Not even in a wedding feast, you respected the the the, the ladies that were there. Unfortunately, Pastor, very bad reference. And but the good thing is, and God has a plan, even sometimes when you're not in the faith. Yeah. As I met Rose. And, and and how did this happen? Sorry, Rose, hold on there. Hold on there. Okay? Yep. Hold, hold your line there. Rose, uh, how did you grow up? What is your background? Okay, so I grew up with my mom and my stepdad. Um, but when... So what, when my what mom, happened to your, your, your father? They, they split up ah. when I was very young. So my mom married again. Okay. And then 
she then took me to my auntie's. So I grew up with my auntie, not my mom, mm. with my auntie, yeah. And um, she did her best. She was really nice. She looked after me. But it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah, so I grew up with a lot of anxiety, you know, a, yes. lot, of, uh, a lot of fear, always worried about things. Um, insecure because insecure, your, your yes, parents left word. you, right? Yeah. The, the yeah. very ones that were supposed to, to, to protect you, mm -hmm. to keep you safe, yeah. they, they, they leave you like that, yeah. right? Yeah, especially I didn't know they were going to leave me there. They just went, I thought we went for a visit and I never went back home to my mom. I had to stay there because I was about four or five years old, yeah. Grew up with your aunties. With my aunties. Sorry, yeah. Shed, someone is saying here the sound is too low. Can you make sure the, the mics are leveled? Mm. Um, okay, so you grew up like that. So yes. what was your vision about marriage, getting married, yeah. and having a family? Mm -hmm. How did that affect you? I'll be honest, I didn't have a vision about getting married or... Cause, um, I didn't think it was a good thing, yeah. um, because I thought people have their kids and just take them elsewhere and, you know, that sort of thing, because I, I... And then you went to this wedding. Yes. Okay, <laughs> you went there, you were invited, you yes. were in uni with Sam? Yes. I Both of you were in uni? In the same uni, back home. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And... Have you met before this wedding or no? Have you seen each other before the, the, the wedding or that was the first time I you saw, saw each other? here, yes. Ah, you saw him here. Here, yeah. But the, the wedding happened back home. No, no. No, the no, wedding here. was here. Ah, okay. So okay. Yes. we went so. to uni and then we met here basically and it was at the wedding now that things we started, started, talking. To, started yeah. talking. Ah, yeah. And okay. then things progressed from there. All right, mm -hmm. and you were with a with a girl, and and what happened in this wedding? How how did this switch happen? Well, let's just say I saw my rose, you know, <laughs> and oh, just this beautiful rose passed. I can't say anything more than that, <laughs> and I was smitten. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you, you that that's when you met. You started talking. Yeah. We started talking, we started dating, okay. and then um, later on down the line, we actually got married. Okay. And um, I think that's when the start of our we challenges. Had our kids yep, as had well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had children. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. And I think the challenge is soon after we got married, because we bought a house, and then. We bought a car. A and fairy then, tale, you know, you know, you know you how it is. Get yeah. these things. Everything was was going according to plan. Yes. Yes. Okay, like family, a house, cars, mm -hmm. and yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but then, what happened? What happened that things started to go wrong? Okay. Um, basically, buying all this stuff, you know, we buying them on credit and mm. so on and so forth. Then things got to our head because it's buy now, pay later, isn't mm -hmm. it? So now it's time to pay. And that money became a problem, mm. basically. So we started arguments. It's your fault. You know the blame. Wow. It's your fault. Yeah, you want to blame me, I blame, blame her. her. So wow. we're just blaming and blaming and blaming. And then obviously... We thought, this is not working. Yes. <laughs> and so said, financial problems started to affect the yeah. relationship. The relationship. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the finances mm -hmm. is the area that evil entered and started to yeah. cause mm -hmm. havoc, destroy everything, fighting, mm -hmm. blaming. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then what happened? You, you had these debts, you had this problems, mm. and, and what, what happened? Because you, you were saying that you even, you almost got divorced, you, yeah. you were talking about divorce. Well, yeah. so, so can you tell us a little bit more? So with the financial, we managed to overcome the financial problems and then remember we moved again to another place. So at the place now, this is where, I think the financial problems had eased a little bit, but by then there was a lot of anger in the relationship. I would come home, mm -hmm. I had pressure at work, 
and I would be angry at her, just the littlest thing. And what was interesting is, is that for me, and I always used to think, I've got a beautiful wife here. There's every, you know, you know, everything. I had a good job, but yet things weren't, you know, just going the, the right way. And and you had a good job. Yeah, we both had a good job at the time. So, so uh, you you always taught your wife to be beautiful. You say, "Is my rose?" Nope, I wasn't <laughs> saying that. If anything, it was the opposite, really. You wow. know, when I used to sit there, I mean, probably I, if I look back now, I think probably I was just depressed and I was thinking, but why? And so it changed. The treatment, yep. you used to yep. call her, I found my rose, my rose. You, you changed. <laughs> I did, I did, I changed. So you, you, you see, same thing that happened to your father started happening to you because your father used to bring all these problems from outside, yep. all his frustrations, mm -hmm. and dump on your mom, yep. right? Yep. And you were doing the same exact thing. Yep. Yeah. It was almost like history repeating itself. And people used to say, they say words have power. Because I remember growing up, a lot of the times, relatives say, oh, you're going to be like your dad, you're going to be like your dad. Hmm. I wasn't in the faith at the time, but I didn't really understand the implications of what they were saying until when I yeah. came to the church, I suddenly realized, oh, my goodness, I was history was repeating itself. And I thought, no, no, no. But thank God that we came to the church <laughs> at the right time. And that's where things started to change. That's where um, we learned how to appreciate one another, how to love one another. Rose, can you tell us a little bit more of these troubles? How he used to get home? Do you remember uh, the fights? Yeah. When, when did you start talking about divorcing? Do you remember this, these times? Yes, um, because um, we, we used to have a lot of drinks as well. I, I'm, I'm also guilty. I used to have somebody used to have a lot more than me, but I used to have a little bit as well. Mm. And um, if, you know, when someone's had too much to drink, they always bring up fights as well. And remember, we're going through financial problems. Mm. And he's buying all these drinks and, you know, having a good time. So he used to, I used to feel really bad. He used to feel really down, you yeah. know, and very, very sad, really. Yeah. yeah. So you see, Sam, Rose, mm -hmm. how you can have everything, but if you don't have the spirit of love, yeah. which is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. if you don't have God in your relationship, mm -hmm. you are going to destroy everything with your own hands. Because you found this this girl, right? Mm -hmm. My Rose, beautiful. Mm -hmm. you, you dropped the other girl <laughs> in a moment. When you saw her, you 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 walk away, right? And you went you went straight for your wife. You knew she was the one. Mm -hmm. House, car, kids, family, everything a person can dream of. Yeah. And here you are destroying your life with your own hands, destroying everything. Mm -hmm. So this is what happens when a person doesn't have God, when they don't know, mm -hmm. uh, they don't know better, they, they don't know about, you know, intelligent faith, yeah. Yeah. right? You mm -hmm. said, I didn't know how to rebuke these words, mm -hmm. negative words. You're going to be mm -hmm. just like your father. You didn't know how to break these words by yeah, faith, true. right? Say, Absolutely. I rebuke in Jesus' name. I break this this curse. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. No. And know. and your life was destroyed. And did you talk about divorce, both of you? Did oh, yeah. you have this? Oh yeah, we had the conversation many times. I would I remember used to look you know through the newspapers, just looking for just a place to move into, even though we had a you know a three bedroom house. <laughs> I was looking for a room, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah. It didn't feel like home because you wanted no. to move out. No. You have yeah. this beautiful house, yeah. three bedroom mm -hmm. that you just bought and you want to move out. Yep. It was oh crazy. my god. You wanna you wanna sleep in the couch, you wanna <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was it was crazy. It was crazy and you wanna move with this stranger? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Ab absolutely, Pastor. I couldn't agree with you more. You but see how lost a person becomes. Mm. Same but as the us. one thing that kept us was our son. We loved him so much. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to disappoint him. 
because I remember him saying to me, Mom, I think there's only about two of us that have got both parents at school. It's like the whole school, everyone, their parents have split up. And he says it's just about two or three wow. of us that have got both. Wow. So that used to, that stuck in my head. I'm thinking, no, I'm going to hold on, even though I wanted to, you know, for us wow. to break up. I thought, no, I'll hold on to him to finish. When he goes to uni, then we'll get divorced. Wow. So I didn't want to break. We didn't, both of us, we didn't want to break his, his heart. I, I, I think it's interesting she says that. Again, we've got to be careful you know, the company you keep. And at that time, everybody around you, because they were in similar situations, mm -hmm. we thought, well, this is normal, you know. Everybody's doing it, so yeah. it's no big deal. Easy. Thing. Separating, uh, that's yeah. the trend, right? Separate, go marry somebody else. And I, and I wonder, mm. how many couples, they're only together because of the kids? Mm. Yeah. Mm. They only hold on. Mm -hmm. the, the only reason why they're together is because of the children. Yeah. It's like true. you. It's true, mm -hmm. yeah. Which is not marriage. Which is not the right way. No. It shouldn't be this way. No. Right? Mm -hmm. Because even though you are together, you, you, you can be together, but you be a, a bad influence yeah. to your mm. kids. Mm. If your marriage is not doing well, mm. you are married. Listen. If your marriage is not doing well, what kind of example are you giving to your kids? You may live in the same house, mm -hmm. but he sees all the fights like you. Mm -hmm. You saw your father beating your mom. Mm -hmm. Right? What, what kind of example? Mm -hmm. What kind of example is that? Right? You, so it's, it's, it's even worse than separating. Yeah. It's even worse because you see the, the, the parents you love, your father, your mother, mm -hmm. you know, fighting like dog and cat. Yeah. It was it was really bad, Pastor. I mean, the one thing, even though I didn't want to, be, one thing I never did was to lay a hand on Rose. But I think it was worse that I was still behaving that way. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, but I'm not mentally, like them. But yeah, mentally, mentally yeah. I think it was much worse. You know, coming mm -hmm. home, saying all these things. Yeah. And yes, I look back now. I think, thank goodness that you know, for the church. <laughs> Because that's when you, you you met the church. Oh yeah. How did that happen? Rose. <laughs> so, your rose. Your rose. <laughs> okay, so what happened was I woke up one day and I couldn't sleep. So I thought, what's going on? And um, my family, I've told my friends and family, they said, oh, t um, you know, have a hot drink before you go to bed. All these things, nothing worked. So I remember my friend told me about the church. Actually, my mom used to come to the UCKG. Mm. She invited mm. us several times. We came, we thought, this is not my thing. I don't like it. And then she said, okay, maybe you prefer, that was, she took us to Stratford. And then she said, maybe you prefer Finsbury Park. It's bigger, it's nicer. We came mm. to Finsbury Park. Sorry, Mom, not my thing. Mm. So <laughs> she You both came her. together or just you, Rose? No, both of us. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I think my mom was trying to save our marriage. Yes. Yes, wow. indirectly, so she was invited. Anyway, she'd retired and she'd gone home. She went to Africa, and then I had the spiritual attack. So um, I, I know a friend, she came to visit us when we had a party, didn't she? Mm. And she was praying and praying and praying. I thought, what's wrong with why is she praying so much? Anyway, when the spiritual attack happened, God being God, knew that the spiritual attack was going to happen, and I needed somebody to ask for help. So I asked my friend, and I said, what church did you go to? And she says, UCKG. <laughs> I thought, oh, no. I Not cannot again. run from this. <laughs> I can't run from so this time wow. when I came. God is amazing. It is amazing. I came full power with all my efforts, everything. I didn't even think I don't like it or I like it. I needed help anyway. It, so it was I so came. It's interesting. Amazing. Yes. That, I mm -hmm. mean, on the day we came, mm -hmm. I remember it was Stratford. It was a Saturday, wasn't it? And it was actually closed. We were that desperate to <laughs> come to the church. <laughs> and then. From then, basically, we started to come, wasn't it, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, although, me being me, mm. I didn't want to come, you know, easily. But through obviously seeing her, you know, yeah. in need. Amazing. I did my mm. What are the odds that yeah. your mom 
was mm -hmm. coming, fighting yep. for you. Mm -hmm. And then when you need the most, you have a spiritual attack, you ask a friend. Yeah. And your friend said the same. Same. Yeah. It takes you to the same place. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a big country like this, <laughs> oh, no. 70 million people here in the UK. <laughs> right? What are amazing. the odds? Yeah. Amazing. amazing. What is amazing? He had a mm -hmm. plan. Yeah. Yeah. The so, <laughs> you came to church. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let me, let me, let me, a side note here, just an observation. Mm -hmm. Your mom wanted to save your marriage. Yes. I she, she knew about the it. problems you were going through. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course, because... We always calling, crying, fighting, so she knows. She yeah. knew everything. Mm -hmm. You know, Ms. Rose, um, I was talking to a mama, mm -hmm. and I asked her if she comes to the love therapy. And she said, no way, no way, no way, no, no, this is not for me, Pastor. I'm fine. I'm waiting for my Jesus. <laughs> I am perfectly fine the way I am. I'm waiting for my Jesus to come. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I said, don't you have children that need love, life, blessings? Mm -hmm. And she said, Pastor, yes, I do. My children are suffering mm -hmm. in their love life. Wow. So I, I, I thought, I, I, I showed her that the love therapy is not only for those who want to find a partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for those who want to fight for someone, yeah. family member, like your mom, mm -hmm. who, who fought for your marriage. And look at you now. Mm. Look at you now. A blessed marriage. Yes. Yeah. Servants of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of you are sisters. Yeah. Correct? Yes, correct. When my mom came back from Africa, ah. and she saw the two of us standing there in our uniform, she was like, wow. She could not Amazing. believe. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So she, she planted the seed. Yeah. She left. You were not even in the church. No. You said, Mom. No. I didn't like it. No. She took it to Stratford. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Finsbury Park. It's big. Or maybe <laughs> you like it better. No, no. I don't like it. No. She went to Africa. Mm -hmm. She comes back. Hmm. Goes to church. She's, she sees you both standing there mm. as assistants. Amazing. Praise God. Amazing. Praise Amen. God. Praise God for her faith. Yeah. So in the church, when you came, mm -hmm. what did you learn that, that, that changed your marriage? Mm -hmm. So what happened? How, how was the fight? Because right. it he, he, he was a fight to rebuild your marriage, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm clean. I'm delivered. I can sleep. So now I start focusing on, on other things. So I can hear your husband, I know it's a bit traditional, but like your husband is the head of the family. You should pray for him. You're there to support him. You're there to help him. You're there. I know. I'm freaking. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that. Doing that sort of stuff. I'm thinking. Oh no. So um, you know, that's why you're there. Your prayers can help him to grow and give him the wisdom for God to give him the wisdom to be the head of the family. Mm -hmm. So all these things, when I heard, I started to change. So, you know, like before, if he says A, I would say B, and mm -hmm. then he said C, I would say, you know, like that. D and then he gets to, yeah. Because you didn't know better. Yeah. No one ever taught you to be a woman, a mm -hmm. wife, mm -hmm. a mother. Yeah. Right? You never, you never had this. Who taught you? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. But here you learned with God, mm -hmm. right? The creator of marriage. Yeah. Pastor, mm -hmm. I think for me, one of the defining moments when we had been in the church was V woman. And I remember, I'll never forget, mm -hmm. both my son and myself. So she wakes us up. I wasn't as strong in the faith as she was at the time. Mm -hmm. And as she was saying, she had to learn a new way. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming downstairs to this table full of nice, delicious breakfast and a whole lot of things, juice and bacon and whatnot. And We had a task. I looked, at, I looked at my son, I'm thinking, what's going on here? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 
Honestly, I never you even that. got suspicious. Yeah. I was suspicious, past. I'm telling What's you. What's going on? But I really enjoyed that breakfast. <laughs> wow. I, never, I never forgot that, and I think that was one of the things which. So you were married for how long? How many years you were married? So. Twenty. Uh, Nineteen ninety. Oh. 20, 20, 27 years now, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, right. and you've been in the church for how long? We've been in the church for 11, 11. years. 11 years. So you were you were married for 16 years or so. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 15, 16 years. Yeah. yeah. And that was the first time <laughs> you come down mm -hmm. and you see the breakfast table. Pastor, it was done with love. <laughs> the fact that it's in there, I mean... I'll never forget that the juice and variety. We're talking about variety here. You got paralyzed. Oh, you had to. I was like, call the. I think she was secretly smiling. <laughs> the ambulance. Yes. Oh, the ambulance. Well, the ambulance. well <laughs> let's just say my stomach was full there. But that was one of the acts of love and many more. And I realized when you give, you know, in the church we talk about giving. Yeah. When you give of yourself. You know, she did even today. I had such a lovely lunch. I'm like, wow, you know. I said, you know, beautiful. And this is it. What do we learn? We learn to love, to give. And it's simple. It's biblical. Nice. Can't complain. And nice. And you know, mm. one of the things that, that we, we teach is that God, He shows us yeah. what we have to do. So before, we like to tell others what to do. No, you should do this, you should do that. Mm. You're not doing this, mm. you're not doing that. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. That's not what God says. God says, you be this way. You do this, you do that. Don't worry about the other. Yeah. Don't look at the other. Look at yourself, what you can do. And that's what you learned. Yeah. You became a real woman. Real I woman. Did. Virtuous I did. woman. I did. I'm and you started doing these things that you, you wouldn't do. You are giving, giving. Yeah, I'll be honest. When the pastor's wife said, you have this task, surprise your family, I was very upset. <laughs> I'm thinking, no, <laughs> not him. <laughs> he is the one that needs to change. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. And not me <laughs> telling me to change? I'm not to cooking anything. Cooking lunch no, and breakfast, no. fixing breakfast. Yeah, I got really, really upset. But then I went to bed, and I don't know, God woke me up, and I went downstairs. And I did everything that was told to do. <laughs> Obey, obedience. Yes. <laughs> you believed, mm -hmm. you obeyed, and then that's how miracle happens, right? Yes, yes. You obeyed, you just follow God. You didn't understand, you no. didn't like. No. <laughs> when you heard it, right? But you just obeyed. I just, yes. That's faith. Okay. And you were amazed. Mm -hmm. How about you? And I'm what still giving, Pastor. I'm still giving. <laughs> still paying back. Well, as I said, it's one of those things. When you give, I mean, even, you know, I remember one day, I forgot what it was, and I thought, oh, I need to do something for us. I wow. went out and I'd, you know, get little things that she liked. Just Be Because what she did, I need to face. do something. Oh, yeah. I oh, need yeah. you. I need you pay her back. I need yeah. to do something yeah. nice for her. Yeah. Was it this week or last week? I got a, you know some chocolates and just the little things that she actually likes. And, Keeping know. love alive. Yes. So 27 years, but still going on strong. Okay, Keep strong. Keeping yeah. strong, Pastor. You know. <laughs> chocolates this week. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 Working on it. Working on it. Mm. Working uh, on it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's but, that's very you know, nice. So, you know, you've, it's like it's got you know in the Bible, it's it's action. Like you mentioned earlier about singles night. If you don't take that action, there won't be a reaction. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we've learned basically, you know. Keep things alive. What What were the things you had to change about you, Sam? So for me, what did I, you learn in the church? Well, I need to I need to let go of my anger. I had a lot of anger issues, mm. and I came in. I did a chain of prayer, which was really really helpful because my relationship with my son certainly with, um, rose wasn't as great as it could be. So through that chain of prayer, I learned that I had to be the example, as you mentioned earlier. Okay. So then I got less angry at things. I made sure that um, I chose my words very carefully, mm -hmm. blessed instead of cursing. And that was a good change. So even now, sometimes you might get a little bit angry about something, but I choose my words very carefully, so much so that my relationship with my son now it's a really good relationship. We talk, we laugh, Praise we God. play jokes, mm -hmm. and of course with Rose as well. You know, mm -hmm. like any couple, you may have difficulties, but thankfully, because God's the center of it, yeah. you know, you forgive easily, you mm -hmm. forgive quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you suddenly remember your servants of God, and 
that really, really so helps. so you learn that mm. you you were angry mm -hmm. not at your wife but at yourself yeah you were causing all those troubles problems mm -hmm. with your son right yeah and you you were dumping on her your anger blaming her yeah right making mm -hmm. her suffer mm -hmm. when you had to deal with this thing yourself mm -hmm. right you had to solve this yeah. inside of you mm -hmm. you focus in you right mm -hmm. And how is marriage now? You've been in the church for how long? Seven years, you said? Um, no. 11. 11 years, okay? Both assistants. Mm -hmm. 27 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. oh, seems like yesterday, huh? Yeah. yeah. Praise <laughs> God. Huh? God is good. <laughs> yes. And, and it's still going on strong, keeping romance alive. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know? Have our moments, basically, you know, sit there, do like to watch our movies, share popcorn. Mm. We won't talk about the popcorn, will we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it's fun, and it's it's like it's I fun. always say, it's, you know, it's totally different home you, now. It's different and I think amazing for us. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that we're both in the church, you know, it's almost like church is our home anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think before, where I so used to think, oh, it was difficult. Now. We love spending time there, speaking to the younger singles and other people and advising, letting them learn from us, of course, using the Bible as a reference point. So now you are, look how amazing. Mm. You never had an example in your life. Mm. You grew up with in a messed up family. Mm -hmm. But now you are the example for many youths yeah. yes. in your church. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm giving them advice, even helping couples to overcome their problems. Because mm -hmm. you almost went through a divorce. Oh, yes. yeah. mm -hmm. If it wasn't for God, you would be divorced. Mm -hmm. You said, yeah. when my son goes into uni, That's we will it. split. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe your son has been through uni. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's much older. He's finished. He's working. How old is he now? He's 27. 27. Yeah. 27. Mm -hmm. Going to be 28 on the 19th of June. Yes. Next so the same, same, same age of of your marriage, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's been through uni, mm -hmm. in and out, way past that, and yeah. he's still going on st stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Until the end. Praise God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Amazing testimony. Yeah. Amazing testimony. And and Sam, mm -hmm. Rose, um, what a device you 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 can give. Let's do this. First to the singles, they are watching us. Mm -hmm. What a device. And then for the couples, mm -hmm. okay? The couples they are studying now, they are recently married, mm -hmm. or, or what, what kind of, what piece of advice can you share? Okay, yeah. you can look at this camera here, okay. and let's, let's talk to the singles first. <laughs> what kind of device you, you like to give to the singles? Okay. Rose, you want to start? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, um, Rose. Don't be anxious. And don't give in easily. Um, try and understand the person. Because like Sammy saying, you went to a wedding with a girl. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't know how he maneuvered all of this. So you need to really... Be patient. Patient. Mm -hmm. Don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. And um, put God in the center. Yeah. Trust in him. Nice. Because he's got your back. Yeah. He's lined up everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and and for the, the couples, Sam, you so can. For the couples. For the what couples you? as well. Um, well, you've heard our problems. And what I'd say is, is that put God in the center, as Rose has just said. Mm -hmm. Talk to one another. Forgive, you know, as the Bible says. And don't go to bed angry. Please don't go to bed angry. That's one of the main things, as it says as well, mm -hmm. biblically speaking. And do you know what? Try not to in invite a third person into that, you know, relationship. Mm. Especially if they're not of God, you know. Speak to your pastor, your pastor's wife, I would say. Mm -hmm. But don't get a third person into that because that was one of the issues which, again, affected our marriage. But talk to one another, learn to appreciate. Because look at it this way, God has brought you together. And at the end of the day, if what if God has brought together? Nothing can put it asunder. And that's if yeah. you allow the enemy to come in. And he will, you know, he's always there prowling around. Yeah. That's the yes. advice I would say. And, and I believe you both are an example of what God can do in a marriage. Yeah. yeah. 
because you met before the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many couples, they already come married to the church, right? Mm -hmm. And God can change anything. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching us right now, and maybe you say, Pastor, I, I, I made a lot of mistakes. Made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I came to church, I was married, and my husband doesn't believe in God, or my wife, we have problems. You know, the Bible says, what man, what, what God has unified, yeah. what God has brought together, let no man separate. Okay? Yeah. You see the example, even though they were not in the church, God had a plan in their lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God brought you both together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the right time, God did the transformation. Mm -hmm. And now He's using this couple, this beautiful couple. Can you show this couple, uh, Shad? Yeah. This beautiful couple. Look at them. You, you could never imagine that, you know, they went through what they went through, right? Mm -hmm. But look what God can do. God can save your marriage, friend. Yeah. Look, God can save your marriage. Yeah. God can save, He can transform anything. Mm -hmm. You just need to fight. You just need to believe. You just need to learn the right way, mm -hmm. intelligent love. Thank you so much for coming. All right? Thank you for having us. It was a pleasure, and, and you really blessed us here. Thank you so much for your testimony. Amazing you. testimony. Congratulations on your faith. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Keep always investing in your marriage, mm -hmm. serving God until the end, oh, yes. <laughs> and helping others to also find a way to, to a blessed marriage, a blessed life. Amen? Absolutely. All right? Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. You. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio.